going on with God, man? Bless us. Yes, sir. Good to meet you, man. You too. Yes, sir. It's good to be met. 19 keys, man, as you know. You know. Why you come up with 19 keys? Okay, so the number 19 is the smallest number that represents all numbers. Now, when I was first inspired, truly, by the quote I heard from Master Muhammad, 17 million original people, and 2 million Indians, which means that there's 19 million keys to unlock those minds, which is talking about giving them enlightenment. Now, when I went deeper into my study of the number 19, I found that there's a mathematical code that underlines the whole Quran. Then, when we look at the number one, the number one represents God, the conscious. The number nine represents the moon. Or the subconscious mind, the female, the gender mind. So this far kind of said that the million man march, he said that when you see the number one paired with the number nine paired with the woman represents the secret. He said that there's 19 feet high statues over there at the uh, steps in Washington, D.C. One was from the 16th president, one was from the 30th president. It represents the secret of black bodies, the trade of black bodies that was sold in Washington at that time. And so when I started really studying into the number 19, what I wanted to do was take the micro to one, to the macro to nine. So therefore I can meet people at every level of consciousness they at, and I can use that information, knowledge, energy, which is the key representation, and I can unlock those minds. So I wanted to become the 19 keys for the world. I like it, I like it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, everything I say got to be me, man. If I don't never look good, unless it got to me. So if you ask me questions about something, it's what I have a story behind it. Let's get this crown, man. You know? You know, the crown is not just aesthetic, like I say, as a representation. Freedom, justice, equality, enlightenment. This law, this is a mathematical way of life. But also, when you see that crown, man, you walk into an environment, now you have the ability to change it. Just by the symbols that you're wearing on your head. Now a person don't see that, start changing. When at first, all they had was logos and symbols from the world around them, but it was nothing that reminded them of their higher self. So, one idea of mine is, environment is stronger than nature. So in order to change your environment, you have to have your nature strongly represented. This is part of our nature, the sun and the moon, the lunar and the solar. You know, and it also reminds you of your purpose, so you find yourself somewhere you're not supposed to be. That crown on your head gonna remind you. Like, I gotta stay sharp, you know what I'm saying? I can't fall between nothing under here, nothing on my lower self. I gotta be calibrated to my higher self at all times, because everybody else gonna be looking at you like, how he acting low, but he represents his high. You understand? Yeah. So it's an opportunity for one, somebody asks you what that means, now you can explain what your purpose is. Now you get to tap into your higher self and put them on the same frequency. So it's more than just aesthetic, it's more than just a great vibe to go with the clothing, you understand? When you walk in a room and you get to change that environment and all eyes on you, it's way more than that. Yeah, I, I did, I did um, know of you, uh, uh, until recently, but I knew your face card because of who you was with when you was in New York. Dare Grace, mm. I've been, that's one of my mentors. That's interesting. Um, and then Ben X. Yes, sir. And then I just got on Reza. Yes, sir. Oh, we the shifters, man. I see y'all, I was like, the shifters. Hey, I see you got him. Yeah. And I was at that event you was actually early, but. So you know the bro, uh, Sario? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I just went to the event yesterday. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I had to connect with them doing y'all, or y'all doing rather, but it's, it's, it's all of y'all out here doing great things in the city. You know, a, to be able to see that representation on the outside and see brothers moving like that, it look like a rap group, but you're doing righteous things. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that reminds me of Oakland, how we used to move and things of that nature. It was powerful. So I had to tell a brother that, man, when I come in the city, I see solutions, and I see people at doing actable things. Not just talking about it, but actually be like, all right, we spoke about it, now let me show you the action plan of what we're doing. This is what we can actually build if y'all connect and work with us. What we're gonna do regardless without you, but we can move much faster than we mobilize with you. So out here is ground zero of the black renaissance. So I love Atlanta for that reason. 